In this lesson, we'll talk about render elements. For each render that you have in the V-Ray frame buffer, there are different render passes or elements. And those elements can be rendered separately by V-Ray so that we can assemble them later in a program like Photoshop to have more control over post-production of your image. Let's take a look at the elements. Click on the V-Ray Asset Editor. And in the Settings tab, let's click the Flyout. And you'll see here we have render elements. When you click in this area, you see that there are a series of render elements here. And these elements are based off of things that you have in your scene. So for example, we have artificial lights in our scene, so there will be a lighting render element. Go ahead and click to add the lighting render element. Also, click again. We have the global illumination. We'll add that here. And that will just show that particular render pass. Click again. And go down to where it says reflection. We'll add the reflection pass. Click again. And whenever the reflection glossiness is below a value of 1, you'll have this specular element here that you can add. So go ahead and click that. Let's also go find the refraction. For any material, such as the glass, where there is refraction, this will show us the elements we can see through the transparency. We have an open window. We'll be able to see directly through to the background through the opening. And let's add one more. Scroll down to Material ID and click on it to add it. Material ID isolates objects with the same material and renders them with a unique flat color. This can be especially useful when you are post-processing your image in an application like Photoshop because it'll be far easier to select everything that has a common material. Now that we have all of the render elements selected, go ahead and click Render. The final pre-composed image is called RGB color here, but is also known as the beauty pass. But now that you've rendered those elements, flip down this menu and you can see all those channels listed here. So flip through each one of them to see what they look like. Notice for refractions, this is where we would see through the glass, versus if you switch to the background, this is just the element where the window is open. And also take a look at material ID, where you see that flat color applied to things of similar material. Having all of these channels will be helpful for post-production, but they can also help you quickly troubleshoot whether an issue you're seeing is with one particular element over another. Once you've had a chance to tour through everything, click and hold down on the save icon here, and then hover over the second icon to select it. This will allow you to save not only the beauty pass, but all of those channels so that you can use each of them for post-production. So you can name it, pick the location you want to save, and make sure to save it as Open EXR. This 32-bit image is recommended for compositing in Photoshop. Then go ahead and click Save. 